Hey there, Carolina fans. Matt Krause with you, alongside one of the busiest men in all of college athletics these days. It's Carolina Athletic Director Bubba Cunningham. As you're well aware, the name, image, and likeness era is here in college athletics. And as of July 1st of this year, student athletes are able to make money off of their name, image, and likeness. And today we are so excited to announce a first of its kind partnership between Carolina and the Brandar Group. It's a group licensing agreement that allows current student athletes to profit off of their name, image, and likeness in conjunction with Carolina's official logos and trademarks. And it builds off of Carolina's already successful partnership with the Brandar Group, going back to the alumni group licensing project that was announced in April. So Bubba, you've been a proponent of group licensing for a long time now. Why is this important? Why now? Well, I think it's really important because we're trying to keep all of our student athletes together. Um, we have kind of been in a group licensing program with the university ever since the Nike contract. And uh, what that means is everybody bundles all their individual rights together as a group. And then you go to the market and try to provide opportunities for the group. And then you share the money within the group. So when we thought we were going down this path for name, image, and likeness for student athletes, I thought this was the logical next step. Let's take what we're doing institutionally, let's apply it to the students, let those students go to market and also share in the revenue, particularly jersey sales and the video game. Those are the two things people want, and so that made the most sense to me. We've actually taken a step further, we've gone to the individual name, image, and likeness, so they can still go out and do that, but this is an idea that will allow all of our students to get together as a group and go to market with specific products. So this new agreement with the Brandar Group, how does it work? How will it impact students, fans, and those around the university? Well, basically, we have a licensing uh, division within our campus, and they go to the market and get licensed product, whether it has the interlocking NC on it, it has the strutting RAM on it, it doesn't matter. They go to the market and get that sold, and the, li and the university receives a licensing fee for that. In this case, we can have the individual student athlete's name, image, and likeness or their jersey number and their name on the back of the jersey, they can take it to market, sell it, and then the revenue would be split between the university and the student athlete. So do student athletes have the option to opt in and can they still make individual deals? It's 100% voluntary. So if they want to participate, they can, and then they can opt in, and then if they want to do their own individual deal, they can do that as well. And then whenever they want to opt out on an annual basis, they can opt out of it as well. As we said off the top, it's a new era in college athletics, this NIL era. What have you learned since July 1st? Well, I've learned an awful lot of things about the whole industry and how it relates to individual rights. And I think it's fantastic for so many students that want to do that. But we have a number of our student athletes that really want to just come to school, get a great education, play their sport, and win. Others are very interested in doing that and trying to build their own personal brand. But I think what we'll see is a big rush right now for individuals to really want to do that. And then I think over time you'll realize, you know, there's a lot of effort and work to running your own business or creating your own brand. And I think they'll then say, you know, it may not be for me. I'm going to concentrate on the things I came here for, get that education in play. So here we are announcing this first of its kind agreement. What's next for Caroline in the NIL space? Well, we'll continue to work with our student athletes and, and see what is a good thing for them. We have a number of companies that we're working with that will provide these opportunities for student athletes. We have four or five people on our staff completely dedicated to finding name, image, and likeness opportunities. We have a staff that's a resource for all 800 student athletes to say, hey, what are you attempting to do and how can we help you do that? Because we want our kids to be successful in anything that they do. And if they have a real interest in this, we want to make sure they get the best support possible. Bubba, we are grateful for your leadership into this new era of college athletics. Thanks so much for explaining this for us and for joining us today. Well, I appreciate it, Matt. It's going to be a great opportunity for our student athletes and for some of our alumni to get involved with some of our students that they couldn't do prior to this. So we'll, we'll see how it goes. It'll, it should be very, um, very helpful to a lot of people. Thank you. Well, thanks so much for joining us, everyone, and we will see you very soon for the start of fall sports here on campus.